Are you joking? Do you know how much I've lost? There must be a mistake somewhere. Why is it my speedy's fault? If that fellow didn't need it, he'd probably give it to the cow. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you had a low harvest. Maybe there's something wrong with the soil. It could be anything. Are you now trying to tell me that my farm is the problem? <laughs> Your speedy is a saint, isn't he? But he works really hard for you. Now, I don't want to discuss this with you anymore. I mean, we've all got to help to make savings around here. You've got to do what he does instead of going off to be with that girl or playing football. You have to learn to be more responsible, PP. You're no longer a small boy. I'll never do anything to please you, will I? What are you on about? Look at me. I'm your son, not your employee. Do you ever ask me if I want to be a farmer? Do you know anything about me? I try to please you, but you never respect me. All you do is order me around and blame me when things go wrong. I have to make things work here for all of us. I mean, we've just lost a lot of maize. And here you are, acting spoiled, throwing tantrums, seeking for attention. Don't you know when to quit? I'm lost now. I'm sorry, Speedy, but Dad wouldn't listen to me, as per usual. You know what we need? We need someone smart, someone clever to help us. Someone clever? Albert, you're clever. We have a real problem. You don't know the meaning of problems. But Albert, Dad sucked Speedy. He thinks I ate all the maize. I have a lot on my mind. Get me a knife. What are you doing that for? Trying to save your life. That's your problem, right there. Me, stock borrower. I'll see what I can do to stop it. I think I still have some literature on this from college days. See how it reproduces? A moth lays eggs on the leaves. The eggs take three to five days to turn into larva, the most destructive stage, because the larva feeds on the leaves and stems of the maize plant to sustain its reproductive cycle. It then becomes pupa, from which a moth will come out and fly and lay eggs to the next plant. And the cycle goes on and on. And on. So we should go off and slash all the maize with this in it and feed it to the cows. That's a good idea, Speedy, but there is a better one. Moths like to lay their eggs on the napier plant more than on the maize plant. Seven out of ten moths will lay their eggs on the napier, and only three moths will lay them on the maize plant. But how does that help us? You see, when the larva try to feed on the napier plant, the plant lets out a glue from the stem that traps the larva and prevents them from developing and multiplying and the process stops there. So if we plant the napier around the maize... Then most of the stock borer will lay their eggs on the napier and their life cycle will end right there. Then you'll get lots more milk and lots more maize. More milk, more maize, that's got to be a good thing. And there's no I... second chance for the stock borer. Everybody needs a second chance. Would you please explain what's going on? This leaf has been fed on. Fed on? This is a pest called a stock borer. It feeds on the maize leaves and the inside of the maize stalk. And so? When the maize leaves and the insides of the maize stalk are eaten, the level of production is reduced. Surely not much. For every 10 bags of maize you harvest, you lose three bags to these pests because it feeds on the stem and the plant cannot grow properly. And how does that happen? The stalk borer lays eggs on the plant, especially here, between the stem and the leaf sheath. Pesticides are very expensive, you know. There's another method, the natural way to deal with this. You plant the banner type of napier grass around your crop. The banner type is best because of its glue and its preference for laying eggs to the borer. Glue? You see, the stock borer prefers to lay its eggs on the napier grass leaf to the maize one. The catch is, after the lava, it's into the stalk of the napier grass, the plant lets out a glue which sticks on the lava and kills it. Such a tiny thing, yet so destructive. When you plant the first year, do it just before the rainy season. 
And why is that? So that the napier grass is taller than the maize and thus attracts the borer. Go on. You see, you plant it like this in three rows around the maize. I take it you know how to do this. You see, you harvest the napier when it's about two to three months old or when it's about three to four feet high. And you always start from the inner row working out so that there's always one row of fully grown napier grass around the maize. That way, even when the life cycle starts again, there's fresh napier for it to lay its eggs on and the maize remains unaffected.